whiskey drinking man. I drink every day. Welcome back to the channel, guys. We're the Whiskey Watchers. I'm Dan. I'm Jake. And the table's really empty. Let me fix that. One second. I got a box. Oh, God. Is it a Christmas present? Oh. Valentine's Day gift? Jesus. It's a box. It's a wooden box. It's, well, it's a box from an angel. It's got wings. It's Angel's Envy Cast Drink. Oh, it's Red Bull. Oh, wait. <laughs> it's Angel's Envy Cast Drink 2022. Uh, we're going to open this up and... Uh, is it magnetic? Yeah. Ooh. It's magnetic. You see? And you know uh, what I say I wouldn't pay for a fancy pre <gasps> I wouldn't pay for a fancy presentation, <gasps> but while you're there doing that, I gotta look at this. Look, it's got the fancy little flipping nail yeah. hole, dog. You could just hang when you're just, when you're done with it. Up. When you're done with it, you can put it on your wall. Just the front though, not the case. The case itself, you can get to Oh, so, okay, but the inside of it has the engraving right here. Yeah. So has, has the nice engraving. So you can still display the bottle and if you, hang the front. If you thing. zoom Dude, in, this is has a nice little thing. It has the angel's wings on the back. This is the first angel's MB cast strength I've ever owned. So I'm just kind of oogling and ogling over the box. This box itself would raise the price point of this bottle, probably $15. You know how much I paid for this bottle? How much? $220. That's too much. Well, we're going to find out. 110 was right there in that case. <laughs> so we're going to find out. Here's the uh, other. Here's the other. 100. Here's the other hundred or so. So, I haven't opened this yet. This is going to be a fresh crack review. Ooh, even the plastic. Yeah, even the plastic's still on it. I'm. I haven't staged anything for this episode. Okay, well, here, let's just listen to it, it then. Oh yeah. Okay. So. ASMR. Plastic is off, and uh, let's uh, let's see how she sings, shall we? Go ahead and get the old. Thumbnail in there, break the old seal, and ooh, that Goes was the good. weasel, right? <laughs> <laughs> All right, I'm gonna pour a little bit of this up. Hmm. Angels NB 2022 cast strength. You're gonna leave me alone with this bottle. I I'm gonna let you pour it. Oh, okay. So, I like I said, I've never owned an Angels NB cast strength before. I've had a friend. Do you need more than that? Probably. I wasn't paying much attention. I was trying not to pour a lot because it's expensive and I don't like pouring expensive things in my mouth hole. <laughs> so, a friend of ours actually blinded me Another with some Angels Envy stuff along with their Wait cellar collection. Wait a minute. Was this when we were also When down? we were in Louisville, Tal sent all those samples yeah. like last, no, two years ago. And the yeah. one we really liked was this one. Yeah, okay. So this flavor is coming back to me now. Yeah, so this is Angel's Envy Cast Strength 2022. Um, I have the little... Uh, Do they use the same mash bill on all these? Mm hmm Okay, cool. So, yeah, port finish. Oh, goodness. On the nose on this one, let's, let's just get to work on the nose here. Really get the port. Oh, that's super sweet. You get a lot of the port. Like, it smells almost like straight up red wine. It smells like a port wine. Yeah, I'm not getting a whole lot of bourbon notes on this no, one. No, at all. It's scary how little bourbon notes you're getting. So. I am getting like that, that cherry, like a cherry vanilla. Once it, once you pump some air into it, so give it the old, the swirl here. Get a little air into it. You're very dainty with your swirling. You know that. It's more like OCD about making it go in a perfect circle. I, I beat the hell out of it like Clubber Lang did to Rocky Balboa. No, uh, there's a method to my man. I'm just, yeah. I'm like going for. <laughs> Beautiful scientist in a commercial. <laughs> oh man! So once you beat some air into it, you do get those. You those get a little bit notes. more whiskey notes. You yes. get the bourbon notes. There, a lot of deep caramels. I, I get I'm some... so used to Angels Envy putting out just rye. Like every time I see Angels Envy, I look at it rye. It's the like... rye, yeah, because we can't find the port finish around here. It's it's just kind of like gone. So yeah, like this is a port finish. They make that. Yeah, what? I mean, and we're we're like spit, and you can hit Kentucky distance from kentucky swing my golf clubs hard enough and i'll probably not hit kentucky but there's a wicked slice and if it weren't there <laughs> maybe 
So uh, much like George Washington always said, uh, don't talk about it, be about it. I'm going to taste it. Cheers. Oh. That is super tasty. That is super tasty, dude. Tastes like somebody just took the flavor of hot, and by hot I mean spicy, and put it in my sugar cookie. Are you broken? A little. A little? Okay, that's fine. I still wouldn't pay the price for it. I'm I'm getting a lot of those deep port notes, but I'm also getting like butterscotch. And vanilla, like I don't get the port notes at all. I just fried my tongue immediately. I'm, I like this a lot better than their normal release, though. The normal port finish. I I have one sitting over there that's been you know sitting there for a while because I wasn't Two really. Years. Yeah, it needs to go away. <laughs> but no, this is this is super tasty. I'm super happy with this and the color of it too. It's just this dark. Amber, our lights are not all that great when it comes to looking at, you know, color of a whiskey, but really, really dark. It looks like the amber in Jurassic Park where they see the mosquito. In yeah, they it. find the mosquito yeah. in Jurassic Park. There you go. Little little pop culture mix you, in here. If you in can see that episode. color, picture it in your head, that's what you get. Yeah. So this is... He's a digger. This is some fine, fine whiskey. And speaking of things that are fine... We have a sponsor that's also fine, and we want to talk about the sponsor of this episode. Thank, no, thank you, you to, boom, The Thief, Fine Wine, Beer, and Spirits. If you're ever in Washington State, go check them out. They'd love to hear hear from you and tell them the Whiskey Watcher sent you. They'll give you that crispy high five. We'll fix Try it. not to smack the mic. Yeah, we'll fix it in post. It's no, all right. It's, you know what? Don't <laughs> fix it in post. Just leave it like it is. Just Awkward it. and weird. Awkward, weird, just like us. So... The finish on this, though, doesn't last very long. That's that's what I'm getting from this. It's like the nose is very, very port forward. Once you get some air into it, it comes out come the bourbon notes, those those vanillas, the oak, a little bit of spice. It's very, very port forward on the palate as well. It tastes hotter than 119. It does taste a little bit hotter than 119. I'm thinking like 122, 125. I was thinking the mid 120s. Like I would, I would almost think like if it weren't so sweet, I would almost put it at like Elijah Craig level. I I, I wouldn't blame you there, but yeah. but no, the finish just kind of it is there. It dissolves for a few it, seconds. It dissolves for a few seconds, and then you get like sugar, sugar and port, and like like almost sugar cookie with a port. I don't even port taste finish. the port anymore. Honestly, it's just sugar cookies. It's it's like a I can't say snickerdoodle because there's no cinnamon to it at all. No, there's there's not a lot of cinnamon to this. I think um, obviously the port wine finish takes away a lot of the cinnamony aspects you Helps get. Sweeten from, it up, yeah, for sure. So can I get one of these for a hundred bucks without the case? <laughs> I'll pay that. You'll pay a hundred without the case. Yeah. Unfortunately, I don't think that's how the world works. But you know. It, Somebody, if it is, some guy bought it just for the case. I mean, he might be willing to. Maybe split some guy bottle. just bought it for the case. I mean, if you just bought it for the case and you know want to donate a bottle to a whiskey watcher out there, Jake, uh, Jake would love to uh, to have this. But and I'll donate a hundred dollars to your bank account. Maybe <laughs> where it's legal. <laughs> so, final thoughts on this. I think it's solid. Um, for the price point, I'm kind of iffy on it. I can't, I can't bring myself to do it at the price it is. So the the usual thing: purchase, pour, or pass. What are you going to recommend these fine folk do with this one? Get a pour. Get a pour. Get a pour. A pour is a lot more affordable, and then if you like it, then you can go back and forth on it. I mean, I don't know what the MSRP on this is. I don't know if it's at two hundred dollars. I think it's around two twenty. I mean, two like, two hundred ish. I would be with the box and this. I'd be like one fifty, maybe one sixty would be my top end. Would be your top end, that, and that's fair. Yeah. I mean, everyone has their own price. Um, for me, I'm as well a poor. Um, if you're going to spend that much money, I be want sure. you to make a good informed decision and don't go by you know 
what we tell you, you know, obviously, if we recommend the, getting a pour of something, that's a that's a good bet. But that's an honest, you know, that is an honest. I lost the whole word. Opinion. Thank you. Opinion. There you go. Um, it's just an honest opinion. And if something is super good and we tell you to just buy it, obviously, you know, it's everyone's really good. Everyone's situation is different, though. Yeah. So they might want to get a pour before they dedicate to something that's this pricey. I guess that depends on what the pour is, too. I mean, if the pour is 10 bucks, but the bottle's 30 I mean, Yeah, I mean, get get the bottle. Just get the bottle. You'll save money that way. I feel like that's a lot of the times with, like, your cheaper end bottles, but the pours are kind of pricey where they make it up in two or three. Yeah. So, ultimately, since we are a pop culture and whiskey combo-esque channel, um, I want to rate this on a scale of five, and... Uh, you know, the, the movies have one to five stars. A mm-hmm. lot of places have one to five stars. We're going to do one to five movie reels. There you go. Like the little, little old school yeah. movie reels. So ultimately, where would you rank this off of your first taste on a scale of one to five? On a scale of one to five, knowing the price, knowing the flavor now. Let's let's not take the price into account. I just want to go on off the, of pure flavor. Yep, yep, because you know, a movie. You know, we don't incur the price of the production of a movie. That's fair. So so, so let's just go. What's on the screen? Just, what's in the bottle? What's in the bottle? Four out of five because it's missing the port initially. Like I want to. I really want to get that port taste. In a finish or some some sort of semblance to me, me personally, it's so good, it's so sweet. It it tastes like somebody accidentally spilled the flavor of spicy in my sugar cookies. That's <laughs> what it tastes like to me. The flavor of spicy in my that's, sugar. That's cookies. all I can picture. Like, there's no other flavor to it. It's just it's a sugar cookie just somehow got picante, <laughs> muy caliente. Indeed. Yeah. Da, 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 da. yeah. It's. Uh, I like it. So. See, now you called my hand. I was the one raving about it. You you called my called my hand here. So I, I think on a the difference scale... difference is you spent the money. I, I did spend the money. I did I incur... I cannot do that to I, myself. I did incur the, the cost of this. Um, so you but, personally can take cost into account. I, just as an outside opinion... But I, but you know, I, I said, you know, let's, let's not put cost mm-hmm. in this. So... So on, do two. Do two. One is an outside opinion. One is a buyer. Okay. So if I were just trying this on its own for uh, like a friend of mine offered it to me or a someone poured it for me at a bar and someone, you know, took the tab, obviously, um, I'm going to go four and a quarter. I really do enjoy this. It's very, very good. Um, but at, as a buyer um, who spent you know, the $220 to, to get this into my collection. I think I'm at three and three quarters. See? I can't, I can't quite bump it to a four off of that, but that's just my opinion. You all have your, you know, you all make your own opinions. You all go out and get a pour of it and uh, let me know if I'm justified in that in the comment section below. Um, we invite you to uh, like comment and subscribe let us know if to you our got channel. spicy in your sugar cookies. Do you like spicy in your sugar cookies? <laughs> so that's going to that's gonna be a review from us. Um, and if you liked it, like I said, hit the like button below, subscribe. And uh, until next time, guys, we appreciate you for uh, taking the time out of your day watching. And uh, guys, I'm Dan. I'm Jake. Reminding you to share a pour with your friends and family because much like movies, memories don't make themselves.